Realme GT Neo 3 is 150 watt fast charging enough to attract buyers? Realme is arguably one of the most active brands in the Indian market right now. The company launches many smartphones throughout the year, but there are some smartphones that are more in focus. The Realme GT Neo 3, the fastest charging smartphone in the market is one of those launches from the brand and the smartphone has a lot to offer for its price. The Realme GT Neo 3 was launched in India earlier this year and comes with features like 150 watt fast charging, a MediaTek Dimensity 8100 chipset and more. The Realme GT Neo 3 is priced at 36,999 onwards for the 80 watt charging variant with 8 GB RAM plus 128 GB storage. The 8 GB RAM plus 256 GB storage variant is priced at 38,999 and the 150 watt realme gt neo 3 is priced at 42999 in india there is also a thor love and thunder special edition realme gt neo 3 150 watt variant which is also priced at 42999 we got the top spec 150 watt fast charging variant for our review and in this video we will tell you what we like about the Realme GT Neo 3, what we don't like about the smartphone, and if you should spend at least 36,999 on the Realme GT Neo 3. The design of the Realme GT Neo 3 is interesting. While the form factor is not something unusual, there is a rectangular triple rear camera setup placed in the top left corner of the back panel, a hole pinch display and an AG glass back panel. The color scheme, however, is interesting. The Realme GT Neo 3 comes with a racing stripes design on the back panel. We got the blue color variant, which has a cobalt blue shade and white stripes running through the left side of the back panel, goes from under the camera module. The back panel has a frosted glass feel and finish to it and definitely stands out among other smartphones, but this is a design that will have polarizing views. There is also a white color variant with black racing stripe and a plain mate black color option for those who are not fans of the racing stripes. Now, while the display is super responsive and smooth in daily usage, it does not go over 60 fps in most games that do support a higher frame rate. There is no HDR10 support as well, but watching videos on Netflix and YouTube was a good experience. Talking about performance, the software experience on Realme UI remains the same as last time. Battery on the Realme GT Neo 3 lasts a while. The smartphone comes with a 4500 mAh battery for the 150 watt fast charging variant and 5000 mAh battery for the 80 watt fast charging variant. We got the 4500 mAh plus 150 watt variant for our review and the battery on the Realme GT Neo 3 lasted for quite some time. Throughout my usage, the smartphone comfortably gave me around 6 hours of on-screen time with heavy usage, which is quite good. Overall, the smartphone's battery easily lasts for around a day and a half. So, the Realme GT Neo 3 was launched as a competitor to the OnePlus 10R which comes with the same specifications in a different body. In a comparison between just these two, the Realme GT Neo 3 is the better device, according to me. However, as a standalone premium mid-range offering, the Realme GT Neo 3 does not offer anything special apart from the 150 watt fast charging and there are similarly spec devices priced lower than the Realme GT Neo 3 in the Indian market, 
just that they don't offer the crazy 150 watt fast charging. That's it for today. If you'd like to stay updated on future posts, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell button. Thank you.